Welcome back to a day in the life of a doctor vlog. I am working in majors today in the emergency department, so you can come along with me and see exactly what a day in the life of a doctor is really like. I always start my morning the night before. I prep my breakfast and my lunch for the day and get it ready in Tupperwares in the fridge so that I can wake up in the morning and feel relaxed and calm, knowing that I've got nutritious, filling food to keep me going through the day. My shift starts at 7.30, so I'm up early and I want to know that everything's ready and I don't have to rush around in the morning. this lunchbox in one of my recent newsletters and you guys have been loving it I've had a few of you message to say that you bought it and are really enjoying it so I'm so glad I'm not the only one who geeks out over stuff like this I love it that it's got compartments and it's insulated so it keeps your food nice and cool and I'll link it in the description box below Okay, so I've just arrived at work. I'm about to do a half seven till half five shift and I was working yesterday and oh my goodness, it was so busy. There were ambulances queued up. There were people all along the corridor waiting to be seen. Um, I haven't seen it that busy for a really long time. So I know it's gonna be busy today, um, but weirdly, I actually like it when it's busy. I think that's something that attracts me to A&E. Um, the, the team really pull together when it's busy. There's a real camaraderie. Everyone just kind of mucks in. We all know what we have to do and um, yeah, it's 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 hard work, but it's fun. I'm gonna go and get stuck in now. Um, I've got the tail end of a cold at the moment, so wearing a mask has not been fun at work. I did do a COVID test. I have had both of my jabs and I've had COVID, um, but I did do a test anyway, just to double check that it wasn't COVID. Um, but all fine, and I'm gonna go and put on some good music on my walk into work. I love doing that. It really like gets me all pumped up for the shift. And I'm really excited today because after work, I'm going to go and see some friends, some of my old friends from medical school. Um, it's one of their birthdays and we're gonna go and have a little get together in the garden and um, so I've been really organized and I've brought a change of clothes with me a little gift and yeah I was because I was working yesterday I had to be like super organized and get everything ready a couple of days ago so um, yeah I'm just so looking forward to being able to see my friends it's gonna be lovely I put on some good music and walk into the hospital making my way to the handover meeting and that's the meeting with all the doctors where we get told exactly where we're gonna be working in the department then once the meeting's done we go to the team that we've been allocated to and take handovers from the night team so that they can go home and we take over care of their patients then it's time to get started seeing new patients so I'm back to my car now I got changed into my outfit ready to go and see my friends and you know what today has not been bad it hasn't been as busy as I expected um, loads of the staff that were working yesterday were in today and all of us said that we were kind of like prepping ourselves for a really busy hectic day and it was absolutely fine um, there was a steady stream of patients but by no means was it busy yeah we were able to keep on top of the workload which was great great for us great for the patients I think because today's actually a really nice sunny day it's bank holiday weekend I think that people are out enjoying the sun and maybe not coming to hospital for things that can wait um, or they've just decided to not come in so yeah it's been really quite pleasant and a fun shift so I saw a couple of patients who had chest pain which is a very common presenting complaint to the emergency department one of them turned out to have an end STEMI which is a type of heart attack and the other one was it was muscular pain and they ended up going home and um, the one with the end STEMI went to cardiology I also saw as per usual in the emergency department, uh, a couple of patients who were elderly and had had falls. Um, one of them was a person with Parkinson's disease and Parkinson's disease 
typically slows you down and makes you stiff in your movements and this person had missed a dose of their medications and their muscles had become stiff and they'd lost balance and fallen um, so really important with Parkinson's to make sure that patients get their medications on time so that they don't stiffen up and get all of these symptoms and this patient ended up breaking their hip so um, worked worked them up for that and got them to the orthopedics team um, I also saw a patient who had appendicitis and appendicitis is really interesting because it very typically presents with pain in the middle of the tummy around the umbilicus and that moves to the right iliac fossa to the right bottom area of the abdomen where the appendix actually is um, and this patient gave a really textbook uh, description of their symptoms and um, they had a fever and they were vomiting and it's it's really I wouldn't say nice but it's really not even satisfying because that's not fair on the patients but it's it's clinically quite satisfying when you see someone present in a way that you actually learn about in medical school um, because so often things just trip you up and, and are actually very very different from how you expect them to be and how you learn them in medical school um, you kind of you learn about diseases and you learn about um, diagnoses and and how they should present and then they're so different in real life everyone's complicated everyone's got lots of different medical conditions that are sort of you, you don't know if the symptoms are related to that or the one that they've come in with so this was really barn door presentation very easy to diagnose and that patient went to the general surgery team and they will decide whether or not they're going to whip that appendix out um so yeah overall it was a really good day i have one more shift tomorrow and i'm just coming towards the end of this cold i'm really hoping that it will clear up tomorrow because wearing a mask when you've got a cold is not very fun um and i mean you know i mean it's it's good and i'm glad that we are still wearing masks but it's it's just been a bit of a challenge and i couldn't wait to whip that thing off it's the equivalent of taking your bra off at the end of the day when you just cannot wait to get it off and it feel comfortable again so really looking forward to going seeing my friends now and um, I've got one more shift tomorrow and then I have a day off and um, the weather forecast is looking good so I'm hoping to enjoy it in the garden and I know in my last video I showed a little bit of our new kitchen We've been talking about moving house for a really long time and uh, a few of you commented commented that you'd like to see a bit more of the house and for me to do a house tour well I do have a new Instagram account sarah.n.lifestyle and on there I am sharing all the things around my new house and eventually when I've got well when we've got all the new furniture and we've got it decorated and everything I will do a house tour but in all honesty I think that's probably going to be a good at least a year away um, but really loving living there and um, also wanted to thank you guys because I put a poll up recently asking which kind of videos you'd like to see from me whether you're interested in still seeing these hospital vlogs um, and the case discussions that we do um, or if you'd like to see more sort of sit down videos and you know you guys gave me some really good ideas and you voted on that poll so thank you for that really appreciate your input as always and if you have enjoyed this video I would love to hear from you in the comments if you are an, a long time watcher then leave me some love and if you're a newbie then come say hey introduce yourself we love chatting here on this channel so yeah let me know in the comments if you've enjoyed this video and I will catch you in the next video bye guys the shout out today goes to Nerdy Ninja. You commented under my last video and you mentioned that you're doing UCAT practice at the moment. I really hope it's going well for you. Best of luck, keep that revision going. I know it's hard, but you will get through it. And I just wanna say thank you to all of you who leave me lovely comments under my videos. I really appreciate every single one of you.